Hi students, see you again. So today we need to discuss about the tutorial 5.4, refraction of wave. So hope you finished. So now we check the answer. Okay, so the first one should be your question, uh, the first one, paper one. So the objective question, they got 11 questions. So you can check the answer now. Okay, so from here, I want to discuss one of the questions. There's a triangle for the refraction of the wave. So we see how the wave travel when they go to the shallow part. And also after that, uh, this one shallow part because there's a triangle shape. So we never do any uh, exercise about this one. So let's see the question. Okay, this one is a question six. Uh, there's a set of the straight water ribble. Uh, in the river tank. Now they travel over the thick and also triangle perspective. Okay, now which one should be the pattern? Okay, so from here we need to prove why the answer should be D. Okay, let's check here. Okay, now you see the first one. Okay, this one is a blue color. Is a the before that the ref, uh, the ray will go in. So this one we call incident ray. Okay, this one we call incident wave. Okay, when it just go in, okay, I show the upper part for the triangle first. Okay, when it just go in, now we need to draw the normal line. The red color is a normal line. Normal with the surface of the perspective. Okay, when I just draw the normal line, now we incident anchor. Okay, now your refractor anchor must be smaller because there is a refracted towards normal. So we draw the arrow. Okay, after we draw the arrow, they will closer with the normal line. They will label. This one is a refractor anchor. Okay, now we not yet finish. We just until the direction only. We not yet draw about the wave pattern. So remember, the wave pattern must be 90 degrees with this one refracted ray. Okay, now I show the answer. Okay, this one is the wave pattern after refracted. So I draw 90 degrees. Okay, 90 degrees with the direction of the refracted ray. So this one is the upper part for the triangle. Okay, later we draw the low, uh, the bottom part, then we join together. We see how about the pattern when inside the triangle. Okay, this one is the lower part. Again, there's an incident pattern wave. Okay, this one is the direction. So I draw the normal line again. The normal line must be 90 degrees with the uh, bottom part of the triangle perspective. Okay, after I draw the normal line, then I label incident anchor. Okay, at the deep part. Okay, now the refracted anchor must be smaller than the incident anchor because I refracted towards the normal. Okay, when I refracted towards the normal, so I find it. Uh, this one is a refracted anchor. So this one is an incident anchor. Okay, now I know you're finished. I just draw about the direction. Okay, last one, I need to draw the wave pattern. Okay, let's see the answer. Okay, this one is a wave pattern. After I draw the refracted of the ray, now I draw the wave pattern. This one wave pattern must 90 degrees with the direction of the refracted ray. So from here, this one is the bottom part of the triangle. Okay, now I need to join the upper part and bottom part together. We see inside the triangle perspective, how about the wave pattern? Okay, this one is there. So this one is the upper part. This one is the lower part. When I join together, they become one of the triangle. The head must be bent outwards. They bend to the left-hand side. So you can see all the sharp, the sharper part, there's they face to the left hand side. So if I draw uh, properly, suppose it's like this. Okay, the wave to go in. So after when it just go in the triangle perspective, we find it up and also down, we combine. So this one is the shape. So your final answer should be donkey. Okay, this one is the answer how we go to draw. Okay, then we continue with the structure question. Okay, let's see this one. The diagram 20.1 and 20.2. Now they show about the different of the situation. One is a river tank, another one is a, the beach. Okay, from the A, 
you find it, the wavelength is normal, then bigger a little bit. When they go to the B perspective, you find it becomes smaller. Okay, for the beach also same. Before the water, the closer with the beach, you find the lambda, the wavelength become bigger. Then the closer to the beach, you find it becomes smaller. So this one is a two situation, it's talking about refraction. Okay, now the first one question, can you state the changes of the wavelength in the water wave from A to B? So we don't care which one, both also A to B. So we can say the wavelength should be decreases when they just move A to B, is it? So the answer is wavelength decreases. Okay, number two, they want you to compare the depth of the water between A to B. The depth will be decreases. Is it? We form the deep, we go to shallow part. So we just say the, the depth of the water region from A, uh, that's a deeper than the region B. Okay, region A deeper than region B. Okay, now we need to name a physical quantities that's unchanged. Okay, from A to B, which one is unchanged? So we just got one only, that's a frequency. So what we changes, wavelength changes, velocity we changes, and also the direction of the wave, how to move, they also change. So we just got one constant, that's a frequency. Okay, then we go to the next one. Okay, C. Now you need to relate your answer in A1 and also A2 to deduce the wave phenomena. So one is a wavelength, uh, another one is a deeper, okay, the depth of the water. Then after that, you need to state about your phenomena. Okay, so from here you can say, as the water wave that travel from the deep to the shallow region, wavelength decreases. Then you need to mention the frequency constant because they say related A1 and also A2. Okay, constant must be frequency. Then the rest one, the wavelength and also the depth, that's uh, depends. Okay, deeper, wavelength, longer. Now, what is a phenomena? Normally, the question they ask phenomena, actually, there's a subtopic name. So from here, this one is a refraction of water wave. Okay, then we go to E. E is a calculation. The water wave with the wavelength is 1.5 meter, travel with the then, uh, the velocity 2 from the sea to the beach. So that means we know this one 1.5 uh, meter and also the velocity, where's the location? The location is at the uh, deep area. So we just label first. Okay, label first. So this one is velocity. Uh, wavelength 1.5, uh, velocity is there's a 2, and from the sea to the beach. Then the velocity for the wave when they reach to the beach, there's a 1.2. So that means this one 1 1.2 support is a swallower, 2 is a deeper part. Okay, now we do the calculation for the frequency of the wave. Okay, frequency, we cannot using the second part to find. We just can using the first situation when they're at the deep sea because they provide the velocity and also the wavelength. Okay, let's read through the question number one. Okay, we're using what formula? V equal F lambda. Okay, so from here, the first situation, there's a two. And the frequency, we don't know. Then the lambda is 1.5. Okay, so we find the frequency, the answer is two over 1.5. 2 over 1.5, so from here they show me the answer is okay, 1.33. Normally, we put the decimal point, uh, minimum is 2. Lah. You want to put 4, is okay. So, minimum is 2. Don't give me a 1 only. So, normally, and also don't round the number. How many decimal points we just put? Okay, now the question 2, they ask about the wavelength when the wave near to the beach. So they want to find the situation when they go to the beach shallow part, what is the lambda? So the frequency we know, velocity we also know. So that means there's a 1.33, okay, lambda. Okay, lambda uh, 2. We mentioned there's a lambda 2. So from here, I find it the lambda 2 is 1.2 over 1.33. So I get the answer 0 0.9 meter okay so this 
one is the calculation for the question E. Okay, then we go to the next one. Okay, next one should be the essay question. Okay, because there's a 10 marks. Okay, now we see what they want. Figure show about the seashore. Okay, the seashore. Okay, I change first. Okay, they show about the seashore. Now we're going to see what they want. Okay, now we're going to see the uh, seashore. They say the fishing village. Okay, during the rainy season, okay, they find it, the water, the wave become very big. Okay, the wave become very big. Okay, so from here, they say one year of the wave, they erode the seashore, sea cause the jetty to collapse and also damage the fishermen boats. So from here, that means this one jetty, they got problem lah. Unless they destroy all the thing, and also we see that where is the jetty now? They said there's a fishing village there at the gap. Can you see this as a gap? So we know what's the problem for the gap. Gap first one, there's a, uh, the energy that will concentrate to this part. When they just concentrate to this part, means the wave uh, very strong. Okay, the wave becomes high pressure and also strong. After that, they will erode the seashore and also the fisherman village. Okay, so from here now, we see what the question they want. Eh? They want to prevent the similar damage in the future. So the fisherman, they suggest to building the retaining wall. Okay, they want to put a wall and also relocating the jetty. They want to change the jetty location. Okay, make the further suggestion of the wave, how the fisherman to solve this one problem. Then God say, your knowledge, you must use the knowledge of the refraction. So later you explain, you must got explanation of the refraction. And also refraction and also diffraction. So this one diffraction is the next lesson. So later I will explain a little bit about diffraction first. Okay, of the wave, then you explain the suggestion to including the following aspect. Okay, let's see what's the following aspect, what you need to explain. First one, you need to say about the design and also the structure of the retaining wall. So the design means maybe you say the shape, lah, the shape what you want. Okay, the structure means the material you go to build the retaining wall. Okay, location. So location, you need to relocation. So that means we cannot say the jetty at a gap. Lah. From the diagram, we need to relocate the jetty at the bay. Then you give the reason. Okay, now size and of the energy. So the size or you say the energy of the wave, we must low energy, is it? So from here, this one is related with the diffraction. How to reduce the energy. Okay, so from here, we need to check. Later, your design must talking about reflection. Okay, your structure must talking about the refraction or either one. Okay, location, first one we know already, they must relate with the refraction. So either one, the design or structure, anything here, you must relate it to what phenomena, what we learn. Okay, let's see the 10 marks, how we score it. Okay, design, structure, location, and also energy. Here, just got four point only. Four point means eight marks. You are not enough. So the design. Okay, I suggest the design, you can give two of the different design. Then after that, you can get full 10 marks. Okay, let's see here how we go to create. 10 marks, first step, table form. Okay, let's see what's the table form. Okay, this one we call table form. First column must be suggestion. Later, what suggestion you want to give, what's the design, what's the structure, then you need to explain why you want to make this one design. Okay, first one we go through design. Okay, the first design is a curve. They build the retaining wall, or you say the barrier wall, using the curve shape. Why the curve shape is good? Okay, curve means they can reduce the refraction of the water wave. Curve shape. So if you flat, they will refract it back, is it? If I'm using the curve, Maybe, maybe the other side, they don't have any refraction. They just focus to one point. So this can, can be 
reduce the refraction of the water wave. Okay, second one we say about the structure. Structure normally you say about the hard material. Okay, for the wall, normally we're using is a concrete wall. Okay, we're using the concrete barrier wall. Reason we want to withstand the high water pressure. Okay, the, the, the water wave from the sea after they come near to the jetty, the pressure is too high. So that's why they need to using the strong material to build the wall. Okay, third one, location. Location normally we need to build at the bay area. So from here located at the bay, what's the reason why you put at the bay? The water wave refracted in wider area. When it refracted to a wider area, so you find it the energy will be separate. Now the water wave come at the bay area, okay, compared to the gap. So from here, we get six marks. Okay, we still got four marks. So from here, we continue to the next one. Okay, now it's the size and also the energy. Okay, I want to explain about the diffraction. Okay, diffraction actually, uh, there's a shape like this. Okay, go first, huh? So diffraction support is a retaining wall. Okay, find my point. Okay, here. Okay, this one is a retaining wall. This one is a retaining wall. Okay, when you put one opening, this one we call uh, the situation for the diffraction. So that means when the wave, this one is a wave, the wave want to go in. Okay, this one is your parking for the boat. Uh, your boat all is parking here. Okay, this one is a jetty. So when the wave they go hit to the barrier wall, okay, they will refract the back. Okay, but this one is an opening. So some of the water they will come in, is it? So the wave also come in. When the wave just come in, then you fight it, the wave will open wider. Okay, the wave they open wider and also the energy will be reduced. So this one we say diffraction, they will reduce the energy of the water wave. Okay. So from here, we must say about the suggestion, how to reduce the energy. So we say we build a small opening retaining wall. So all the retaining wall, the center, you put some opening. Okay, put some opening. So this one to diffract the wave and also reduce the energy of the wave at the jetty. So this one is why we want to build a small opening at the retaining wall because they can diffract the wave and also reduce the energy. Okay, so from here, we just got eight marks. So eight marks is still not enough. So now I re-explain about the design. I need to give another suggestion. Okay, so another suggestion here is uh, design the high retaining wall. Okay, when you make the wall become higher, so actually the function is you don't want overflow because some of the wave is too strong already when they're strong they will move they will hit the wall at higher location so from here i want to prevent the water overflow into the jetty so this one is a, another design so this this one is a sum of the example for the question of the refraction so that means there may be to come up another diagram but all the point almost the same Okay, about the wave. Okay, so this one is the last question for this topic. So from here, we just finished the tutorial. Okay, so uh, thank you for your watching. Uh, our lesson for 5.4 already finished for refraction. So the coming soon would be the 5.5. That's a diffraction. So thank you for your watching.